Joe Budden versus Hollow. Where did you go with that? Hollow two one. Mm. You and Joe Budden cool? Yeah. Okay. Was y'all always cool? Define cool. I mean, I I would say we were we were coworkers okay. <laughs> on a tour. I know where this is going. We were co-workers on a tour. <laughs> where it's going? You tell me where it's going. We know where it's going. Honestly, I, I Let's don't... talk about it. No. So what you want to talk about? I'm going to be quiet. Whatever you want to talk about. No, I'm just saying, Um, you know, I, 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 I like him in, this, in the space that he's in right now. I think that that's needed. Uh, I think he, he absolutely has no filter. I think him having no filter has gotten him um, in trouble, and I like it. I respect mm-hmm. it. Um, I think he's not supposed to really uh, give a fuck and say what he want. Um, and I, I think agree. he was ahead of his time with it because it was a time he was doing that where people was like, what is it all about? So um, when, the, when the incident happened with him, um, <laughs> 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 why, why, wh- what was you supposed to do? I think I was supposed to do what I was, what I did, minding my business. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, what, what was it? Let, let, let's let's break this down, right? Okay. First of all, I had just flew in from Japan. Okay. And I had just did the Honda commercial. Mm-hmm. I had Honda representatives at Rock the Bells that day. Okay. I go into I I before I go into the dressing room I see Raekwon and his peoples, mm-hmm. dap him up everything is love. Go into the dressing room because it was a hundred and three degrees. Damn. So I go into the dressing room because it was cool. It's the only place where AC was at. I didn't have my own dressing room. Slaughterhouse had to have one, and it was Joe in there with his I guess I guess the tour manager white guy. So I'm in there and I'm on. Now, mind you, this is before everything that we know about in terms of social media. Like he was on Ustream. So the same way YouTube is right now, right? Like I can look underneath. I can look at these. Right. I can look at the comments. So I was fascinated by this. Yes, he was. And and, and, and his let's give him let's give him that. He was the first person on Ustream. Yep. So when I, I I'm I'm on his Ustream, this is 09. I'm on his Ustream and I'm just talking to the fans. I'm I'm like fascinated by this, and Raekwon and them walk in. Hmm. When they walked in, they walked in happy. Hmm. They walked in dapping everybody up. Everybody got dapped up, show love, you know. So I I turn around, I dap everybody up, and I go back to the computer. Mind you, the computer. Isn't like our computers and our phones now. Yes, it was hooked up to the Ethernet cord. Cord. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so there was a cord, right? So what happened was after you know Raekwon and them sit down, I turn around and we all you know they're talking to Joe, asking him about his Method Man comments. And actually, no, it wasn't his Method Man comments. It was his. He had comments about Inspector Deck. Because mm. him and Method Man had squashed it already, and then he said something. He had said something to inspect the deck in Baltimore. To his face? No, on camera. Oh, got you. Okay. So they were addressing him for that, mm. and he, at the time, he was trying to apologize. Not part of me. He was like, "I'm not." He was like, "I'm." I already apologized for this. Hmm. So what are we talking? This is Joe's stance. He was like, I already apologized for this. What is the stance on this? And Raekwon was like, well, pull it up. Mickey, pull it up. Mickey, pull it up. What you got to do with anything? Because I was on the computer. Got you. Okay. So it was like, Mickey, pull it up. So now I'm I'm on the floor because again we're on there was a couch and then there was the floor and I was on the floor because the computer was on the floor next to the Ethernet cord. So I'm I turn around. This is all everything was on Ustream. I turn around and I accidentally kick out 
the Ethernet cord from the computer. Mm. So as I'm doing this, I'm typing to try to get the website up, and the website is not coming up. Mm. I don't realize it that I kicked the cord out. So if I'm if I'm if I'm sitting on the floor and I just turn around, boop, I hit the laptop and the wire comes out. So at this point, Joe and Raekwon, it's getting it's getting frantic and and it's tense. But Joe he, stood his ground. He stood his ground. Okay. But the issue was they were waiting on me <laughs> to, to pull it to pull up the. You apology. got Joe button snuff because you ain't pull up a guy. So I'm like, all right, I'm I'm trying to pull it, doggy. This, this is on my son. I'm trying. No, to but pull I up know the... how. But I know because sometimes with the Ethernet cord, remember that little top lip thing. If yes. that break off, that That's cord it. is coming out. It's coming out. And then and then matter. you have to. It almost has to reboot. Yes. To get the internet back on, so I, I saved you a little bit. Don't, Don't worry, worry, I got, I got you. you. Go ahead, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. The nigga <laughs> put on the devil voice. So oh, I shit. I kicked. I kicked it out and I'm still trying to type it up. So now they're frantic and I'm trying to fix the joint. So next thing you know, that's all, you know, you hear a thud. It was like a thud and it was like a do, 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 do. My mind is still on trying to fix the joint. I'm trying to fix the computer. Like I said, I didn't even, I didn't even turn around. So people was like, yo, Mickey didn't help him. I'm trying to fix the computer. So it sounded like a slap? No, it didn't sound like a slap. It just sounded like a thud. It sounded like a thud, and then the do 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 do. Oh, he hit the he but hit I the deck. He hit the he, he. You saw. I'm guessing that because again, my I'm facing the computer, so mm. I don't know. I actually didn't see a punch. The oh. only thing that I saw, only thing that I heard was that when I turned around, Joe was like he didn't even make a sound. It was just like he do 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 do, and then. That was it. And then when My I finally bad. turned when I finally turned around, he was holding his eye. And then cause cause it was Ray's man who hit him. And Ray was like, I do and once he said that, then I turned around and I was like, Oh shit, all right. But again, Ray came in with like six or seven dudes. I know who hit him too. So he came in with, with, with these dudes. Mind you, I had been with Joe one time before this whole situation. One time. It wasn't, a, it wasn't like it was my man's man's. Mm -hmm. So he got hit. If you get hit, dog, if somebody hits you, what are you going to do? I'm going to go crazy as hell. That's just me. I'm that's, just but that's, this, that's, not what, this, that's not what happened here. Right? So like it, it, he didn't stand back up and start fighting and tussling. That, that did not happen. That shit probably hurt, though. Regardless if it hurt or not, he didn't <laughs> get up and fight. Okay. So, like, so, your, so your, 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 one of your thing is that if a person don't fight for themselves, how am I gonna fight if you don't fight for yourself? Now, his stance was, why would I fight for myself? And I'm in a room with this white guy, Mickey Fox. That was his stance. <laughs> so you got thrown all the way. Under I got the bus. thrown under the bus Damn. while I'm trying to put, while I'm trying to put the, <laughs> the internet up. And fix the internet to, to you know. Now I will say it was my fault because I kicked out the joint. Did the video exist to him apologizing? Though? Yes, it was on World Star Hip Hop. He, he did apologize. It was it was there. So it, but I kicked it out. And then obviously there was you know there was talks that happened between that and then uh, in terms of the room and then uh, whoever was running rock the bells to secure. I get because again it was on UStream. So everybody that was there knew about it. So security came in and, and broke everything up. So that's literally what happened, right? And people blame me for not helping him. It's like, what y'all want me to do? But they didn't jump him though, right? It was just a... Nobody jumped him. He didn't get beat, he didn't get beat up. He just got hit. He got sucker punched. Mm. Did you at least help with the ice? No, I had nothing to do with the ice. So, so, so... All right. After this happened, what do you say to him? Like, do you what, like what is y'all conversation? Like? I don't remember. Or was what, he mad at you? He, he wasn't mad at. He wasn't mad at me. He wasn't mad at me. You got to remember what he said. He said, "How was I supposed to fight if I knew Mickey wasn't going to fight and I knew his man wasn't going to fight?" 
Dang. It was six against three, and this is what he said. So he said, I just took the L just to take the L. That's what he said. That's that's literally what he said. Damn. That's 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 but again, if you if you ask anybody in the chat, if somebody get hit, you're gonna you're gonna swing back regardless if you your man fight or not. He didn't he didn't get back up. There wasn't no tussle, there wasn't no fight. That's my stance on it. If I'm with one of my mans. But if it was one of your home day one homies or something. If it's one of my day one homies and I see the punch and he he gets sucker punched and I see it, then it's a scuffle. If it's a one-on-one fight, I'm not gonna jump in there one-on-one fight. That's just the rules of the street is the rules of the street. Now, if other niggas jump in, then you jump in. He got sucker punch. I didn't see it because I'm trying to fix the internet. <laughs> He was just damn Ethernet cord. You don't fuck with Ethernet cords no more, do you? <laughs> we nobody does. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, he just like you like Ethernet cord. Mickey like, huh? Like, what's going on? Like he's been but, to- it, but but like but like Eternal said, it wasn't my fight to fight anyway. And right. again, that wasn't my guy. Like he like we But you know associates. that's the narrative that people thought like you in there with the homie and you and you let yes. Yeah, gotcha. But I broke I broke the full story down just got now you. for you. You know, gotcha. and, and and I and you know, I took a I had to take accountability for that for a long time. People judged me off of that. Damn. Right? Like I got judged off of that for a long time. Joe Button has right? a very big fan base too. Yeah, they, they, his fan base hated me for so that. So you was the guy who didn't jump in. Yo, I, I am gonna say something though. Um me. I'm I'm a little changed, but at one point in my life, I really like um like violence and fighting. So the odds of six on three, even if it was six on two, I just I just would just still jump in. That was just me though, because I used to just like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nine times out of ten, I had a knife on me, so somebody was getting jigged. And but the fact that you're saying that that's not your man, I could understand. But did Joe Button think you was his man though? That's a good question. I, I have no idea. Okay. Okay. I feel like I feel like he. I feel like he, no. I don't think he felt that way. Okay. I don't think he felt that way at all. I felt like he. I felt like he thought I was an associate because if he would have felt like Mickey is gonna fight, he would have stood up and threw a punch. Mm. Like okay. if it was if, if I was if okay. So let's 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 paint this scenario. If I was Royce in that scenario, and I'm trying to pull up the the internet. And I still pull up the and, and Royce turns around and says, "Yo, you got punched. Yo, what's going? Royce is gonna stand up and be like, "Yo, what's going on?" And then it's gonna get shaken, or maybe Joe would stand up and fight because that's his man. Hmm. Me at that time, you got to remember what I'm doing as an artist at that time. I just have a Honda commercial. I just flew in from Japan, jet lag, jet lag, tired. Hmm. I'm on the I'm on the freshman cover. The cover just came out, right? I'm trying to turn it around so you can see. The freshman cover just oh, he, came he, out. He, fr- he framed He said, the freshman cover just came out. And for the record, check it out. Go ahead. Go <laughs> for ahead. the record, check it out. I like that out. bragging shit. Go ahead. I like that. I wasn't I wasn't rapping about that stuff anymore. I'm I'm wearing, I'm, 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 I'm the catalyst for niggas wearing skinny jeans. Damn. I guess that's right? a good thing. Mm-hmm. I'm rapping over... I'm rapping over different styles of hip hop. You're rhyming right? over like, uh, Pharrell and them stuff, you know. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So like you, so in in Joe's mind, he's probably like Mickey's not gonna jump in. Like I can't fault him for that. Like I can't I can't fault him for that at all. You know what I mean? But again, but then again, me, I was never grouped in with that group of New York City rappers of the Saigons, the Joe L Ortizes, the Joe Buttons, the Papoose. I was never grouped in with them. But I, I was think- always. I think at the in in this point, this is when the in the in inception of the internet rapper was was you know coming out, and I think you was in that, and Joe Button is like actually the 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 damn flagship internet rapper. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So I think that's how you got grouped I got into that. Grouped into that. Yeah, so you like you're you're like the they would consider you to be like one of the unofficial slaughterhouse guys. Like you, you, you. That's what. So I think that's how you got uh group grouped into that. I mean, but maybe he didn't fight back because that shit was hard. Maybe he just got punched. You know, some yo know, sometimes you can get punched so hard that there is no fight back. You just like yo, 
I mean, I, I can't, I can't speak to that. <laughs> well, the only thing, what I will say is this, right? And and this is all documented. Everything I'm saying is documented. Like mm-hmm. Joe has said these things. Joe didn't want to fight the guy who punched him. He wanted to fight Raekwon. Well, do you know the the guy who punched him? Um, who was that? Ice Water. I, I ain't gonna say his name. That's 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 the homie though. But uh, his oh, name, yeah, yeah, but yeah, his name is Ice yeah. Water. Yeah, yeah. Because if the him. public Shout don't him. know, but um, he's a big dude. He's huge. Yeah. So I don't think I, I wouldn't have wanted to fight him. It was four other niggas like him. Yeah, Ray was come Ray's. On, come on. But Ray, but see, at the same time, Ray coming there, being um um boss. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, uh, somebody's supposed to do the swinging. He's a boss, right? And you know I, I listen, and and you gotta all, and let's add that to the equation. Mm-hmm. I grew up listening and studying. <laughs> so you saying that you get your meat lump? <laughs> like literally, yo, you just got your meat lump. He said, nah. <laughs> I'm and I'm and I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of the I'm a fan of the Wu. Most of my freestyles that I go on the radio, I rap over Wu Tang shit. I, I study wow. these guys, so uh, you got to think like this is like my first time interacting with Raekwon ever. Wow! And so he knew like, who you what? was, and he knew who you was. Yes. So you was like, oh shit, Ray knew who I was. Yo, one time I went to I went to the Bronx. I went to D uh, D I T C studio. The homie Drawzilla and um. Invited me up there. They was having um these beat submissions. So I walk in DITC studio and I know OC for a long time. I knew Lord Finesse mm. for a long time, Buck Wild. But when I get in there, Showbiz is there. Showbiz say, Oh shit, Doggy Diamonds is here. And I'm like, Yo, you know me? <laughs> because I'm such a big Showbiz fan. So I'm like, Yo, you know me? He like, Yeah, come on. Everybody know who you are. I'm like, Yo. Showbiz know me, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, that was and so. So imagine, imagine, you know, showbiz, you know you, and the next thing you know, like a fight break out with somebody that you're not cool with, and you just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah, I just think the narrative was painted that that was your man, and you ain't right fight for your man. So right, that, that wasn't was, the narrative. That was. That I mean, was, yeah, that was the narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that wasn't the case. Okay, so moving right along. Um, 